Hello, my friends at Norway Grove. I am Deaconess Jana Georgia, and I'm going to lead us through a little lesson for our elementary school aged kids in our church family. And today we're learning uh, or we're going through the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany. And this is the week of January 31st, so the first week in February. So if you haven't done this with us before, first I'm going to read through a scripture from the Bible, and then I'm going to share some discussion questions. And those discussion questions, since I can't actually talk to you and hear what you say, would be best if you do it with other kids in your family or with the adults in your home. Then we're going to do either a craft or an activity. Today we're going to do an activity. And if you want a craft, there is a coloring page that is connected to the video um, that has the verse that we're reading and lots of little nooks and crannies for you to color. So you can do that. And then we will end with a prayer and a song. And today we have a very fun song, okay? So we're gonna start by uh, reading the scripture from the book of Mark, chapter 1, verses 21 to 22. It says, They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. A lot of big words in that. Okay, let's move on to our discussion questions. Think of a time you learned something new. What was that like? Hmm. I'm thinking about the time I learned how to play the guitar and how it just kind of opened up a whole world of music to me. Okay, pause your video and discuss with the people in your home. The second discussion question is, what makes a good teacher? Hmm. I think it, to, my best teachers have been Teachers who, who listen. I think listening is a good quality for a teacher. What do you think? Pause the video and have a conversation. The third discussion question is, when did you feel astounded by a new perspective? Oh, that's an interesting question. That means, when have you been like, wow, when someone showed you a different way to think about something? Okay, pause the video and have a conversation. The fourth discussion question is, what do you think it means to have authority? Oh, well, we think of authority figures as people who have power, right? People who are in control, maybe? Oh, there's lots of things to think about on this one. Pause the video and have a conversation. And the fifth discussion question is, how do you decide on whose authority to trust in your life? How do you decide whose authority to trust in your life? Have a, pause the video and have a conversation. Okay, friends, now we're gonna do an activity. It's called Listening for Perspective. Every time that we read a scripture, a piece of the Bible, we learn something new from it. Even short verses and passages hold meaning and insight waiting to be found. So here's an activity to help you explore our text this week. Now, what's interesting is when I went through this activity, it reminded me a lot of this spiritual practice that we call Lexio Divina, which is Latin for divine word. And basically it means that as you listen to a text, you're trying to hear the voice of God, something new, something that speaks to you, right? So we're going to give this a try. First, read the scripture out loud. Notice any words or phrases that stick out to you. Feel free to write them down if it helps you remember them. So I'm going to read the scripture one more time, and I want you to do that. I want you to notice any words or phrases that stick out to you, and then you can write them down so that you can remember them, okay? So the verse is, they went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. 
So think about that. Any words or phrases that stick out to you? And think about those words and phrases. Feel free to say them out loud or in your head. You could even use them as a prayer. Then read the scripture out loud again. And this time, I want you to think about what it says about Jesus, his actions, his relationships, his personality. And feel free to write down your thoughts if it helps you remember them. So I'm going to read the scripture again, and you're going to think about what these words say about Jesus. What do we learn about Jesus? Okay. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Again, feel free to write down your thoughts if it helps you remember them. And think about what you've just learned about Jesus. Consider how people in your life are similar to Jesus and take a moment to lift them up in prayer. I'm going to read the scripture out loud one last time. And this time, I want you to notice if any new words or ideas stick out to you. Have you noticed anything different in the text after hearing it so much? Okay, so I'm going to read it one more time, and you're going to listen again for any words or phrases that stick out to you. They went to Capernaum, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught. They were astounded at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Anything different in the text coming out to you now that you've heard it so many times? Feel free to write down your thoughts if it helps you remember them. And now just take a moment to just sit with your thoughts and you can make up your own prayer based on what you've learned or you can pray with me this prayer. Let us pray. God of new things, you surprise and astound us throughout our lives. We learn so much through you and your son, Jesus. Help us learn and be open to new ways of seeing your great world. Amen. Don't forget, there is a coloring sheet, and that'll really help you remember the, the scripture because it is on there. Okay, and now I want to end by singing a song. Now, I don't remember or think that this is a song that we've done at church before, but it is one of my favorites. So it is a song that has a lot of animals in it. And since I'll be playing the guitar, I won't be able to sing or dance with you. So I just want to run through a few things before we sing the song. First, when I sing about an animal, you can do the action of that animal. So the first animal is a butterfly. So you could do something like this. Uh, and then there's a robin in a tree. A robin's a bird. And you don't have to do what I'm doing. You can do it however you want to do the animal. Then there will be a fishy. Uh, then there'll be an elephant and a kangaroo, an octopus, uh, a squiggly wiggly worm. One time I had a kid actually get on the floor and do the worm. So if you're feeling very ambitious, you could do that. A crocodile and a fuzzy wuzzy bear. And for the chorus, it goes like this. Cause you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Lord Jesus and you made me his child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Okay? Because you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Lord Jesus and you made me his child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Okay, this is called the Butterfly Song. Let me just grab my guitar. Okay, Whew. here we go. <clears throat> if I were a butterfly, thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. If I were a robin in a tree, thank you. 
Cause you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. Gave me Lord Jesus and you made me his child. I just thank you, Father, for making me be. Elephant, if I were an elephant, thank you, Lord, for raising my trunk. like I said, it is one of my favorites. And I hope that you remember this week how much you are loved. Everyone at Norway Grove misses you and loves you just like God loves you. I hope you have a great week.